Hey guys, it's Jana. I'm coming to you from Austin, Texas, doing a little R&R. &R. My husband was invited to a conference, so I'm just tagging along and enjoying the nice hotel reservation. We just spent probably 30, 40 minutes at the pool and it was very nice. But that's about all my uh, super pale skin <laughs> can handle. So I thought I would vlog this little couple of days because I'm gonna go this evening to a dancewear store called Move and Easy and I'm gonna get a point shoe fitting. I re was recommended to them from Abby. They are very good at fitting point shoes, so how can I resist? And then tomorrow morning, I'm gonna plan to go take a ballet class, an open adult class at Ballet Austin, so I'm really excited about that. And then I'll have the rest of the day to just kind of like bum around because Trey, Trey will be busy and so got to figure out what I'm going to do and then tomorrow night I'm going to do a photo shoot with the dancer from Ballet Austin. So I thought I would just kind of bring you guys along with me for all the ballet fun. <laughs> So that was really fun. Highly recommend Moving Easy in Austin to go get your point shoes fitted. They were so nice in there and I was like so nervous for some reason this time going to get fitted. I don't know, just because it was a totally new place and I had to make an appointment. I don't really know, but I was nervous and I had no reason to be. It was, it was very lovely. So in the video clip that you would have seen before this, I was wearing a pair of Freeds and a pair of Grishkos. That's what I narrowed it down to, but I got to try so many different brands that I haven't gotten to try before. So, well, let me show you this view. This is pretty nice right now. Sun's about to set. I can't wait to like have coffee here in the morning. It's gonna be so exciting. This is our room, by the way, if anybody cares. This is the Kipton Van Zant um, Hotel in Austin. It's very nice. But anyway, so I got, I tried on a pair of Freeds first because I showed her the Freeds that I got in New York and kind of what my issues were with them. And so she went ahead and pulled a pair of Classic Pros, but Classic Pro 90s. So those are the ones that have like a straight, like a flat 90 degree platform versus the ones I have, which have the angled platform, which my feet are just like not strong and or flexible enough to like make it all the way over the platform with, when it's angled like that. So um, tried those on first and they just, they fit well. Like it was a, I probably could have stopped there cause that's what I ended up getting, but um, then she pulled a pair of Grishkos for me, and I, the Grishkos that I've tried in the past have always been super narrow because I need a more narrow shoe because my foot is very narrow, but like I personally want like a broader platform. I feel more secure there. Yeah, she brought out some Grishkos that were like a 3X, which like never, 3 or 4X, never in my life have I worn a point shoe with, with more than one X on it, <laughs> but it worked. Um, they fit really nice. They're very, very pretty shoes. And I also got to try some of the Freed Studio shoes. I really wanted those to work because they're not as hard to order as like regular Freeds are with the makers and all of that. So, but those just didn't work for me. I tried the Studio Pro and the Studio 2 and neither of them worked for me. I probably could have kept pushing it and tried to like find a size, but it just kind of felt like, meh, time to move on. So, um, and I tried on some Suffolks. I've been wanting to try those on. The platform on the Suffolks was like the perfect size for me. Like I just felt like I could spin around. It was no problem. But the shoe itself just didn't really fit me that well. And the vamp was like so small. I've never like, I've never seen a vamp that small on my foot before. So, but anyway, it was super fun just like getting to try a bunch of shoes on and they were so nice. Oh, but what I was gonna say is that my big motivation for like getting a pair of point shoes that I can like balance in is because we're gonna do photos when I go to Kansas City next month and meet up with some some adult ballet ladies. And so um, I'm gonna take their photographs and then I'm gonna get it all set up and have someone 
shoot me as well. So the goal is to get like a fun dress and be able to put some point shoes on and just like take some dance photos because you know we got to do that while we can. So I really hope that these shoes will um, will work out for me. But um, if not, or once these run out, I think I might give those Grishkos a try. It was the Grishko Nova that works well for me. So I'm still kind of dreaming about them because they were really pretty. And I was like, should I buy two pairs of point shoes? I really don't have a budget for that, but I really want to. So <laughs> calm down. <laughs> Oh my goodness, you guys, that was one hard class. Um, that really, really kicked my butt, uh, as you can see by the redness in my face. Um, but man, that was fun. That's such a good group of people. I really wish I could go to that class consistently. Um, I went to Intermediate 2 at 9.15 with Terry Lynn. Highly recommend it if you are more advanced with your dancing. Uh, it's just very fast and I mean not crazy fast but like it was also just super hot in that room and the floor was so sticky that like I just I couldn't move on the floor like smoothly so anyway I'm like sweaty mess and I'm gonna go meet a friend for lunch so I need to go back to the hotel and uh clean this up lunch we ended up going to a barbecue place but first we went to a cat cafe I had never been to a cat cafe and I was so excited there were tons of cats in there and one of them I was petting maybe just a little too hard because I was like you're so adorable and he bit me but I mean it wasn't terrible but anyway but just like the vibe in there wasn't like very appetizing for like eating lunch so <laughs> we decided to leave and go get barbecue somewhere so we went to a place called Cooper's or Cooper um, downtown very good. I'm back and I got a little coffee because I haven't had coffee at all today. But I just wanted to share a little bit more about that class that I went to this morning because I feel like I was so flustered and just like exhausted from that class. There were a lot of things that we did that I don't normally do in my classes that I maybe have never done before. Um, but something that stuck out to me was a series of stretches at the end of a rond de jambe combination at the bar. And we were like stretching, um, you know, you like tondu to the front and stretch bend over, bend back, and you could taunt it to the back and do the same thing. But then we also did it to the side, but not bending side. We did tondu second and then bent forward and back. It was very challenging. I think it would be a really good thing to like, you know, just consistently work on. It would give you lots of strength in ways that I think um, would be very nice to have at certain points in class. So um, I enjoyed that. It was just a really exhausting bar. Like I felt like we were doing bar for so long. By the time we were finished with it, I thought we were we would only have like 15 minutes to do center, but we still had a half hour of center. So I think she just was able to pack in a lot of stuff in there. Oh, and I know also what it was. Most of the combinations we did, we went straight from right into left. And that stuff will really exhaust you really quickly. So if you're doing stuff at home and you want to build up stamina, that's a really good way to do it. Just don't stop when you go to the left side, just keep going. So yeah, but I think I definitely overdid it because I could tell between like the point shoe fitting yesterday and I've just been adding more exercise to um, my schedule in the past few weeks that I could tell my body was just feeling tired in general. And so by the time we got to center, the first tondu combination that we did, we did a series of um, rond de jambes on lair and second and a promenade. And the floor was super sticky because it was so hot in there and I was having a really hard time rotating and I was getting paranoid about my metatarsals hurting because of that. And then my right one just sort of kind of gave me a little tiny pinch of pain and I was like, okay, I need, I need to stop. I did not want to stop, but I knew that uh, I would set myself back months if I didn't stop right then. So I did and it was, a, it was she was great about it. You know, she wanted to make sure I was okay and but I just sat on the side and stretched and you know, it was totally fine. We gotta just take care of our bodies, but man, there was some really fun combinations in the center that I would have loved to have done. So 
but you know can't harp on it just it was what it was and I'm so glad that I got the class that I did it was really really fun so I was messaging Abby last night about my point shoes that I got I told her how I just couldn't stop thinking about those silly Grishkos and how I liked the fit of them as much as I did the freeze but like for a different reason and I haven't been able to stop thinking about it and so I messaged her and I was like I'm crazy but like I think I might go back and get the the Grishkos as well she kind of maybe she's as crazy as I am or she confirmed that it wasn't crazy but she said she had the same thing when she went to that store and there were two pairs of shoes that she liked and she said the whole time after she left she regretted not getting the Russians and she ended up ordering them later but it was I thought that was just really funny that she had the same experience as me so yeah I'm thinking about going back there and just getting those anyway but I have a photo shoot tonight with a dancer from Ballet Austin guys but I had such a fun shoot with Courtney like she's amazing I need her by my side like all day long <laughs> to just be like this like ray of light she was just beautiful and kind and hilarious and we got some amazing photos okay like this isn't a dance shot but just like look at her beautiful face yeah for real this was a really great jumping shot of course it doesn't look as good like from a camera to a camera. <laughs> oh, I did go to Ulta. Oh my god, also. <laughs> what am I doing? I've been so busy, I haven't thought about this. Um, I went to Ulta and I got some of this, that brand IT, I, IT, I, IT, IT, I don't know, the CC cream. Because like the beauty world on YouTube seems to love this stuff. And I don't like to wear like just a bunch of, like I don't like a foundation that feels like I've got stuff on my face. So uh, I'm gonna give this a shot. But I did go back to the dancewear store and I bought those Grishkos, but they didn't think I was crazy about doing that. They understood. It was like, you know, the Grishkos have their strengths and the Freeds have their strengths and I like them both, so they'll be good for different things. So, so these are the beautiful Grishko Novas, 6.5 4X Soft Shank, which I realized is the way to get Grishkos to work for me because I've tried these in the past and they've always been like crazy narrow and I have a narrow foot so like I always get narrow widths but every time I would try like the 2007 or something on it would just like it was so crazy narrow like I couldn't even balance so to get something in a 4x it just seems like absolutely absurd to me and for my feet but it makes sense now with the Grishkos because they're so narrow and they're so hard to begin with that I got a wider shoe and a softer shank so now it feels like a normal shoe to me so anyway I'm really excited to have these I think they're gonna be better for just working on strengthening so like in class or doing um, exercises at home and then the freeds are like something I could just kind of put on and start dancing in so really excited guys good morning guys it's Wednesday I just had to check out of our fancy schmancy hotel room and I have like a few hours to kill before I need to go pick up Trey. So it's 11 o'clock. I don't have to get him till 1.30. So I thought I would maybe drive around and see some of those like, there's just lots of wall murals, like artwork or whatnot around Austin. And so I thought I would maybe just kind of drive around and check out a few. Um, so there's this really pretty like blue tile one that I'm parked outside of. I'm gonna go check it out. Mm -hmm. 